Huh? Thank you for doing this. You vegetarian? I'm a vegan, yes. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Come join us. We're here all weekend. <laughs> vegan. <laughs> Fire. Half of us are. Huh? Are what? Vegans. Really? <laughs> Not just vegetarian, you're vegan. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, right, but yeah, you're trying. Depending on how it's your thing is all about sustainability. Yeah, and then personally, I think it's a it's a balanced approach. Like we need to have animals, and we need to. And it, but the most important thing is local production. Like, what if what if there was? Yeah, I mean, all, all that's all better, right? But what if there was one higher? There just happens to be a coincidence that we're the highest primate. What if there was one more that was smarter than us, and they said, "Well, because we're smarter than you, we can we're going to farm you because it's efficient use of resources." Huh? If that was the existence we lived, you'd, and they've you'd done, be challenging it. Say they came from, I don't know, they've been hiding on the dark it. side of the moon for a while. And say they come down and say, hey, we're running out of resources. This is an efficient use of resources. What do you say? Oh, well, we either start war with them or we just accept No, it. they're way more powerful than us. I guess we just have no choice but to kill ourselves or exist. We just go along with it because I guess any life is better than death. But the we try is, to fight it. The word if not reality. No, but I mean, for them it is. For the that pig that's crying for his life right there, yeah. if he could speak English, would you still take his life, right? Yeah. And that lack of ability, that we, we judge this as important, that lack of ability. When you ask people, why is it okay to eat meat and kill animals? They say things like that. They're not as smart as us. And that just doesn't that, hold water, right? Yeah, I don't, agree. I, don't agree. I don't agree with animal production for meat in in an industrial sense, but I think it's a small scale, it makes sense, and it doesn't mean they have to suffer like that. Thing. Like it's a fish like Nova Scotia, it's only so much arable land, using grazing cows makes sense that way, right? Yeah, or goats, or whatever, you know, like... I, I, I understand that argument. Yeah, I'm all about, but you, you, you know, balanced approach to eating, because uh, eating food from across the earth is certainly not sustainable, and, it has it travels a long way. I mean, I think, yeah, you, know, you can grow soybeans. You can grow soybeans and lentils right here, though, right? PEI yeah. is good for soybeans. I didn't even realize until yeah. a few years ago, yeah. soybeans is a big crop in PEI. Eh? Yeah, can't be a good money crop, though. I'm thinking. Oh yeah, it can't be. Yeah, it's a cash crop. Uh, really? I mean, there's so much of it. I mean, they feed it to cattle, right? You grow it in South America, it must be cheap as dirt, right? But, well, it depends what grade is it. Food grade or is it for? I know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think I think small mix farms is uh, have you lots ever, of fruits and vegetables. <laughs> you ever farmed animals? Uh, no, I haven't. I have chickens. Why not? Eat yeah. chickens, yeah. Yeah. For eggs. Because it makes sense. Like pigs would eat anything. They're a cheap way to produce meat, right? Pigs yeah. in particular. And there's a lot of waste on the farm, so you're turning that waste into yeah. yeah. Why not take it and make, put it in fertilizer to grow plants up? You don't have to kill anybody. You're right, but it takes a lot of energy to produce that fertilizer. From a raw vegetable to a fertilizer, it could be done. There are some shoots. Huh? Have some shoots. So, sure. Thank you, sir. You need vegetables, right? Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it. Go veggie! <laughs>